Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. What's happening? It's your mean man, Coach Fa, ringing in on a interesting Thursday morning. Getting off that morning commute. Getting ready for a great show tonight. Canton Corner is back in effect. Thursday edition, basketball, amongst other things. Coach Fa and Mr. Goose will definitely be in the building. And we will definitely have a wrestling town with my main man, J. Peter Franchise. Those are always awesome and so packed full of great knowledge. It's like watching uh, Fight Nation on Sirius, but on the candy corner. It's great. So, I'm checking in this morning on, 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 on a Major League Baseball note. Because apparently, as of today, the owners have decided to put the the entire league on lockdown. It's a wrap because they they and the players cannot agree on the new CBA. So it's all shut down. And per the owners, you know, they always want to put it on the players if it isn't. If the players have their way, they will, won't be a, a league uh, in the next few years, blah, 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 blah. Yeah. Well, owners, you guys have had your way for a while, and baseball is not necessarily booming or growing under the current tutelage, leadership, whatever you want to call it. So... Honestly, yeah, I know y'all players feel the ways and the owners always trying to protect their bottom line. But here's my thing. How would the how are these owners able to pay these crazy salaries still? Like, I know baseball is not the number one pastime anymore. You know, I know they're not getting the same numbers as football and baseball and basketball. I know that. So how are they able to pay out these crazy salaries if folk aren't really tuning in like that. And let's face it, they're not. Baseball numbers have been dropping, you know, steadily for years. Years. I mean, you don't see kids on the blocks playing stickball or baseball anymore. You know what I mean? I I don't see that literally anymore. You know, I used to be one of the kids in the hood that did that. You know what I mean? I played stickball. I played baseball in you know, parking lots with my friends and all that. You know, it was what's up. We, we traded baseball cars and knew every baseball player. Every baseball player was like on sitcoms and stuff. It was, yo, it was really, really big when I was little. You know, baseball movies were timeless things and, you know, all of that. The thing about baseball, for all of its enduring history and everything I honestly feel like baseball is the old man curating his lawn yelling at all the little kids in the neighborhood not to touch his begonias that's what baseball is baseball is so stuck on traditional yada yada and Casey Stengel and Babe Ruth and Mickey Mantle that there it, it's 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 lost its way. I mean, yes, it's a slower sport, but to me, part of the issue is not that it's a slower sport; it's that people do not have the same level of attention span, and that's not necessarily a good thing as far as our society. Just being honest, I'm not the biggest fan of this lack of attention span stuff. This microwave, gotta have it now, need my results now, now, now stuff. You know, it it breeds impatience, and impatience is a rough thing to deal with in real life. You know what I mean? Sometimes you gotta slow down, and you gotta be able to be in a slower space and understand things from that point of view. Come on, you know what I mean? But I personally love baseball. I find the science of pitching to be fascinating. I, I don't necessarily get bored in pitching duels, and I don't need to see home runs every five minutes. 
You know, I mean, it's a strategy game, and I I really enjoy it for for everything that baseball gives. But I also recognize that I am in a minority there. And honestly, 162 games, that is a lot of games in a season. Baseball season is long. So you figure baseball season, roughly games about three, three and a half hours, then you've got 162 of them. That is a lot of watching and heavy lifting and stuff like that. And at the end of the day, in my humble opinion, baseball still plays better live than it does on TV. Because it's the summertime, it's the park, you're out there. I mean, yeah, going to the stadium is wild awesome. It really is. And if y'all don't, if y'all haven't been to a baseball game, even if you don't like baseball, if you haven't been to a baseball game, go. Go to a baseball game. Baseball is so much fun. It really is. You know? And I feel bad that the sport is suffering the way it is. You know, I really do. Because this was, again, honestly, in Coach Fi universe, before I fell in love with basketball, I loved baseball. You know what I mean? It was my first sport that I played. I was a pitcher. I was pretty good at it. Until I started feeling tweaks in my elbow, then I had to stop. But, I mean, I watched baseball all the time, whether the Mets were playing or not. I watched baseball games, you know. Uh, When they came on TV, Channel 2, Channel 4, back in the day, I watched baseball games. I love baseball. Honestly, now, I don't watch baseball the same way. You know, I I, I don't. I, I watch my team. And I think that's kind of where the state of the sport is. Somebody has said during the World Series that, you know, baseball now is more regional. You know, when your regional teams are involved, then you're tied in. But once your team is gone, you know, are we still watching baseball? And I can honestly say I'm not necessarily, you know. I mean, the World Series used to be the biggest thing on the planet. And this year's World Series came and went, you know. Congratulations to the Braves. You know, no disrespect just because we're in the same division, but it just wasn't, it wasn't a draw. It wasn't as much, unless your teams were in it, it wasn't that much of a draw. You know, and that's the problem. That's, there's so much wrong in baseball right now. And honestly, I'm going to be free. I'm gonna, since we're talking, I'm going to just be real. Baseball writers should not be deciding the Hall of Fame. I don't know why they allowed that nonsense to happen for all of these years. But to me, you know, managers, former managers, players, former players, scouts, GMs, those are the folk that should be voting on Hall of Fame, not writers. Writers are, writers in baseball have become such opinionated monoliths that, you know, they all feel some high and mighty about, you know, weighing on someone else's entire career. And they are entirely too opinionated, in my humble opinion. And, you know, the way that they gauge the, the, the Hall of Fame and how particular they keep it, you know, honestly, it, it took fans away, I feel like. You know, there's there's so many things that take away from the fandom. When y'all have drafts, and this is actually not a knock, this is just an observation. When you guys do your draft, it doesn't really matter who the number one draft pick is. You probably won't see them for four years. So, again, even if if the nation is watching the draft, they're not going to get paid off for years because... Baseball goes through the farm system. They go through the minors. They make sure you're ready for the big leagues, which I respect the hell out of, to be perfectly honest. You know what I mean? The NBA is really just now wrapping their head around uh, this 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 G League or this minor league scenario within the last 10 years. And I think it's a great thing. You know, it's just that 
like with the NBA and with the NFL, when you see that number one draft pick, you know that following season, you know, for better or worse, you're going to see that player. And that kind of helps you tie in the whole process and that whole finding new ways to enjoy the sport thing. So baseball, just by the way it's set up, they don't have that connectivity that the other sports have. And then, like I said, their sport starts at the end of March and carries on into the in, into September and October. It's a long, long sport. You know what I mean? And it's a lot of games. It's like three to four games per week. It's, it's, it's a lot. And so in order to get people to sit every game and watch every game, y'all got to figure out how to make the game a bit more exciting, how to speed the game up without losing the integrity of the game, which is hard. You know what I mean? But, and then I hear that the MLB was switching out balls and Pete Alonso spoke on it and got crushed by the media and everything. Come to find out he was, he was right. And again, if your league is tampering with the balls that y'all are playing with so that it could affect free agency in a way that they are that they that benefits the league and not necessarily the player that is a really bad practice ladies and gentlemen and and there are a few kind of really bad practices going on you know behind the scenes that we don't even know about and there's an art, there's an article that uh, I saw that there's another article out there that's really hammering down all the Q&A about what's going on with this collective bargaining. So when I dive into that article, I will definitely uh, recap that and come back to what I'm saying here today with a bit more information on the actual issues between the MLB owners and the players union. But end of day, man. The lockout is just another in a long line of issues that baseball has to figure out if they want to continue to, you know, be important. You know, I mean, there's a lot of history with baseball, but they're just, I, I don't understand why they're doing it so wrong now. You know, I was talking to a couple of people, and to be honest, the most famous people in baseball right now are folk that retire. You know, Derek Jeter, Alex Rodriguez, Big Poppy. You know, those are those are names that don't even play anymore. But those names, people. Oh yeah, I remember them. You know, I mean, it, there's no real major. I mean, stars that are that people can see, recognize, the average person. You know, where's the commercials for these guys? How come they're not doing? You know, and baseball and, and basketball have way more recognizable cats doing endorsements for them than, than baseball does. I did say basketball, right? Football, basketball. Okay. So there's a lot that baseball has to do. They got to get out in front of this. They need to be planted. These faces need to be planted everywhere. Everybody needs to know whether they watch baseball or not. You know what I mean? Again. There's a lot you guys need to do to rejuvenate the sport. And arguing amongst yourselves about salaries and things like that, I don't know if that's going to do it. You know what I mean? I just I, I just don't know. Because these 10-year, $137, 165000000 million contracts are crazy. You know? And it's funny that y'all offer these 10-year 10, 10 joints and typically nobody makes it to the 10 years, so it's kind of like fugazi, you know, that she even offering it. I just find a lot of this stuff interesting and, and, and quite honestly, possibly detrimental, man. I love baseball. I don't want it to go away. But there are so many people that hate it, don't like it, don't watch it, indifferent about it, that honestly, that's where it's going to go. I mean, I don't see... I don't see MLS overtaking it anytime soon. 
and lacrosse, while that's becoming something, it's still nowhere near the levels of the other sports yet. But listen, times have changed. There was a time where basketball was deemed, you know, the worst of all sports. And listen, there was social reasons as to why that was too. So let's just keep that real. But nonetheless, that's what it was. And now base basketball is one of, if not the major sport throughout the world, next to um, soccer slash football. That football, not American football. American football is extremely strong in America. Extremely strong here. And they're trying to get that global, but, you know, CFL, uh, Canadian football is, is interesting. But, again... Football is getting on that international platform. Not quite there. I mean, it's not supplanting baseball yet. But, and it's funny. I feel like baseball is another one of those sports that are that's viewed differently in uh, America than it is elsewhere. And it's an American sport. Like, Japan loves baseball. You know, Central America, South America, man, listen, you know, and that's it. That because if you look, that's where the majority of the baseball today's players come from. You know, they are they have Latin surnames, you know, and honestly, there's not that many African-Americans playing baseball anymore. And it used to be like the thing. So baseball has got a lot to look at. And a lot to figure out. And, I mean, they've got some things going for them if they learn how to promote them. And, you know, figure out how to speed the game up without losing the integrity of the game. Figure out how to re-engage the youth. Because that's it, really. You inspire the kids of the following generations to play this game, they will. You know? I will say this, and this might just be me being in uh, in middle-aged cat, I'll call it. But in this day and age, social groups in live settings doesn't really happen as much. My son got a crew. They spend the majority of their time hanging out individually on their phones or on their uh, gaming systems. They're together, but they're not even in the same room. And I'm seeing that with a lot of kids. And honestly, that's not how you play baseball. Baseball is a group of kids that actually converge on a parking lot somewhere, you know, and, and go to town. So, honestly, I don't know if that side of baseball can be saved until that side of society reconnects. You know, I mean, social media has done a great job of having people reach out to each other, but it's done a really sad job of having people together. You know what I mean? So, in my humble opinion, anyway, you know, I come from an era where we rode bikes, you know, and... You knew who was at each other's house because you saw all the bikes out front. You know what I mean? So that's 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 my interpretation. And again, younger folk, you know, when y'all view this, let me know how y'all feel about baseball and if it can survive and X, Y, Z. And if you don't like it, t- be honest. Tell me why. You know, I, I'm really interested in, in understanding that. You know what I mean? So, again, everyone, thank you all for tuning in. This was kind of a long video. I didn't expect it to be 20 minutes. But, you know, when you're you're passionate about something, time flies. Uh, So I definitely appreciate you all tuning in. Make sure you all tune in tonight. Uh, Another live show. Uh, If you didn't see last Tuesday's show, please swing back. It was a lot of fun. Uh, Covered a couple of uh, good topics, especially uh, running backs. And they're valued today. You know what I mean? So check it out. And again, appreciate you. Have a great, great Thursday. Be safe out there. You know, watch your football, watch your basketball. Enjoy. And I'll talk to y'all later.